What's up, y'all? Welcome to game day. It's you and me and us and GMI or against GMI. Welcome to uh, Heavy Cardboard. So, Sultan C, there. We did this last night, four player, and a bunch of people were like, oh, do it solo. And the schedule worked out to where I was able to instantly do what y'all asked. So, uh, Sultan C, designed by David Bernal, uh, published by Devere Games. Devere Games also. Uh, supplied us with a review copy and so thanks to everybody over at at uh devere david said he's going to try and make the stream if he can so uh we'll see if he makes it in awesome if he can uh everybody who works with wolf strit there try not to disturb him he would like to be able to watch the entire teach without being disturbed so just trying to look out for you wolf uh yeah all right it's 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 the solo game i've never played it but it's going to feel very similar it looks like to a lot of other solo games that we've played on the show so and it doesn't seem terribly complex to run so i think we'll be okay i've played salt and sea enough times now i'll probably still screw stuff up but that's just because of me and not because of the game uh Ooh. all right so Hopefully, hopefully y'all are ready. I'm ready. I don't know if GMI is ready. That's the bot, by the way. I guess it says so right there. It, they are the Green Minerals Incorporated. By the way, I, I fell asleep last night watching a video and then woke up to an extremely loud video on YouTube. But anyway, uh, about the Sultan Sea and how it came to be to begin with. There's a lot of bad luck. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of short thinking short-term thinking but also a lot of bad luck so i kind of felt bad for them anyway enough rambling let's get into it shall we i'm not gonna bother taking down the camera for this and again i'm not gonna do a full teach nor am i going to do all of that it's it's gonna be just solo game so it is set up for a two-player game so we have us versus gmi these are the gmi cards right through here and the differences in setup, I think that's probably the easiest way to go about talking uh, about how setup works. Setup is normal, except for a few different things. The three research cards that show duplication on them, those get removed from the deck. So these out of the game, boom, done. All right. There is a tile that shows duplication out of the red tiles. That one can't go in. That one's out. Then there are two, one for every player. Uh, on the bottom row, there is one less than a number of players and then one. So it's one, one, two for each of those and those are randomly placed out there. For the two decks, now, there is technically, these are supposed to be on top of that deck. But I thought it would be nice for y'all to be able to see uh, the timing of this, all right? So in a two-player game, three of the twos get removed randomly. Three of the ones get removed randomly, and then that's what's left. So we have the display of four, we have the uh, deck of ones, the one dot, and the deck of two dots. So these are surface drilling and then deep drilling, technically, okay? Uh, everything else, oh, sorry, and there are two plus the number of players cards per, and those were all random. And again, the contracts, one dot, two dot underneath it. I, I didn't screw that up this time. The last bit of setup, the AI, the GMI, they do not use any of their workers, any of their engineers. So those are out of play and I just put them there to, it sounds pretty. The other thing, the deck, the deck of AI cards. Uh, so GMI cards, AI cards, the Automa, whatever. Uh, these have a single dot on the top or, and I'm just going to flip, you know what? Yeah, I'll flip over that one. Or you can see that there's two dots, okay? There are 
a total of five two dot and four one dot. Two of these are randomly removed from the two dot deck. So these two, I haven't looked at them legitimately. You know what? Here, let's do it this way. Okay, we will go with the second and fourth cards. There we go. Those are the ones that are removed from the game. These three, I'm actually going to fan them out this way. It'll make sense when we get started. And then there are, actually, these we can show, uh, four dot single ones. These will get shuffled up and then dealt out every round. There we go. Good enough. Like so. Yeah, it's good enough. All right. There we go. So that's set up. Otherwise, everything else is normal. And by the way, the re these are technically supposed to be splayed out at an end, like these. But again, I wanted to bring it in tighter. So these will work like this. And I'll, I'll figure out my in-game goal stuff um, when these get flipped up. I might move them up there. We'll see how it works as we go. All right. So the, it says that... Uh, Oh, I just realized something. Oh, no. I forgot my starting hand of cards. I will get that in a second. Give me a moment. Yeah, let me let me start with that. I realized I totally messed that up. So the seven... Oh, oh, God. Normally, we bag those up, and we did not, so I apologize. Let me, let me, let me go through the deck real quick and grab mine. Talk amongst yourselves. Sorry about that. So there's one there. That's embarrassing. Blarg. Doo, 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 doo. Looking for the little engineer dude. There he is. All right. So one, two, three, four. Five, looking for, that is six, and that is seven. There we go. Got my seven. By the way, it says now, back here in the back of the, uh, at the setup for the solitaire, it says, if you wish to make the game easier, when you set it up, do not deal the seven starting action cards the GMI. I feel like we should. Yeah? All right. Yeah, let's do that. One. Two, let's deal it to them. Three, because that means they start with seven dollars. That is going to be a pain in the butt for sure. You know what? No, we're not gonna. I suck at this game bad enough. It, we're not gonna. We're not gonna make it a tougher game. So you can effectively deal out seven of these, but the seven starting cards. So now I'm just shuffling these up. I appreciate TV Spang. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the GMI over under glory to Rome's three and a half. I have a feeling, uh, the bot's going to be mean to me. So yeah. Um, I will go ahead and show these down here, not next to the board are my seven in hand cards to start. And I'll go ahead and display my, in fact, here, I'll differentiate them. It's going to mess up when I want to show the GMI cards, but you know. And then I'll actually, when I play them, I'll play them over here. All right, cool. There we go. Yeah. All right. All right. So we are set up. Now, it does not say anything about alternating turns, but again, I'm going to assume that that's going to happen. So we're going to let the AI start first. And I don't believe it just says uh, set up the game. Using normal setup rules with the this being the difference mainly and that they do not uh, use their workers. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the AI, GMI versus us. So over under three and a half glory to roams and place your bets. Us, because y'all are going to be helping. You're not going to help the GMI um, versus it's us and the GMI. All right, so here we go. All right. By the way, have any of y'all played this solo yet? I'm curious. Do tell. All right, we have shuffled up. Ignore my cards. We have shuffled up. And so on their turn, they're going to flip over the leftmost card here. 
and then they are going to try and resolve in action top to bottom, okay? And as we get to them, I'm actually going to just mark them as, hey, we're trying to do that action, just as a, as a visual clue for all of us. So drill, it's going to do exactly, uh, this works exactly as in the main game. However, it cannot drill because if you take a look at its board, it's already drilled down and it doesn't have any of the cards. So can't do that one. All right, so we go down to the next one. And it does specifically call that if for whatever reason it cannot do anything on the card, no turn for it. So yay. You're a terrible human, Alyssa. I'm just saying. GMI in the over. Man, I'm just a little support here, huh? All right. Thank you, Oddity. I appreciate it. Let's see. Is it an option to move yourself to the top left? Hold on. Yeah, but that would just be a pain in the butt. So, no, that's why I don't do it. All right, Jonathan? All right? So, all right. Okay. So, now, it is going to try and acquire a drilling license, i.e. the uh, the the little the, the drilling cards. Y'all know what those are. Uh, take the claim card that's lowest on the board without paying any... Any amount of money. Place it at the bottom, just like normal. Then draw and turn over a new claim. All right. So that claim, it doesn't pay any money. It goes over there. Slide. Refill. All right. Done. Easy. So now, of course, this is going to have to happen now that I did that. And we'll just keep those disconnected, but you get the idea. And I can always mess with it as needed. All right, so it has done that card. That card is done. All right, now on its next turn, it's going to flip over this. On its next turn, it's going to, you get the idea, right? However, now I'm going to have to adjust this one a little bit. Eh, maybe not. As it advances this, every time it would unlock a warehouse, it will flip over a warehouse just like normal. However, because it does not use workers, Every time it reaches one of these spots over there, what it's going to do instead is, you see the little worker icon. It's going to get another one of its cards and brought down here. That's why it has three cards up here. These, This is effectively three more workers. It gets more actions. So that's how that works, okay? Oh, okay, Alyssa. Alyssa's got us in a rematch. I got you. All right, fair enough. All right, so that's its turn. Easy enough, our turn. Oh, God. Now, this game was hard enough last night while I had time to think when it was other people's turns. Oh, boy. Feel free to shout out ideas. So we're short on money. We have seven bucks. If we were to go ahead and get a contract early, right? That would give us an extra dollar, basically replaces that, and at least gives us a... Oh, and we start with one brine. Yep, there we go. All right. Um, we could do that. That is that is a viable option. Oh, also, one other thing that's different in setup I forgot to mention, sorry, is the two-player stuff starts. Uh, it has a four-player, three-player, two-player. That's where those start. Um... Mm. What research cards are up there? Let's look. I haven't looked at these yet. Ooh. I'm just saying. Take two bumps. Oh, boy. That's awfully tempting. But the problem with it is it's five bucks. Hmm. Now, something else to think about. Maybe this is crazy, but this is a $3 repair that is free. If we were to take that early and process early, that effectively undoes one of the things, one of, some of the damage that we're going to do to our industry.
God, man, all of those are awesome. Oh. These theoretically will stick around for another round. Those might not. I really like that. What if we were to do that? That saves us three bucks early. And it just... It's legitimately free. Huh. So if we're going to do that... Okay, let's work our way backwards. If I'm thinking about taking that card, then I think I think about taking a contract. And which contract do we want to do? So looking at our board, it's going to cost us four bucks to refine geothermal. And then it would bump us down two on the there for two geothermal or a battery and a, you know, or or what if we just skip that because take a look at the contracts i just realized there's nothing out here that needs more than one either a geothermal or some brine honestly i like taking that contract Get us some money, get us a bump, get us some points. And the other thing that I guess we ought to uh, we ought to talk about our end game stuff. So during the game, one of each contract, whoever completes it first, us or them. Anybody has three uh, geothermal at the same time claims that one. And then this is the most claimed cards. How many claimed cards do you have? This is most shares in the middle, the uh, yellow co. And this is who has the most completed contracts of purple that's why i'm kind of motivated over here for that purple one but that one just so for six bucks we could complete this contract produce and not kill our workers Okay, so I think we take a contract first. I think so. So we'll go ahead. I'm not saying it's the right thing. I'm saying it's what we're doing. We'll take a contract there. We're going to go ahead and take that one because A, it's going to help us on two of those end game goals or one during the game, one end game goal there. We get another buck. So we're going to be back to seven. I don't know that we need any of these straight off but getting a discounted claim card since we are going to need that seems like a good idea and that's our action we now come back to the gmi what's up richard welcome yes this is a new game all right so we are now on to the second card now the second card is it's going to process now Follow along on this processing. I'm going to read what it says, but the icons here actually make sense. If the GMI has two brine in its warehouse, it will produce a battery and a geothermal. You see that, right? Follow along that line. It goes there. It does not. It only has a single brine. It spends it to produce the geothermal and one lithium, but its extraction plant damage indicator moves forward two spaces on its track. So we see that. Now, another, and let me finish reading about this uh, action, is if it, it cannot perform this action in the following cases. If it doesn't have at least one brine, it does. If it cannot store the two units produced, it can. Or if the damage to its extraction plant impedes the action, and it does not. All right, so he is going to produce one of each and damage it twice. All right, so back to his board. He is going to damage that twice. He's producing that, that, and that spends the brine there. And notice at no point did it mention, oh yeah, and pay the money. No, it cheats. This thing cheats. I'm just saying. All right. Grr. 
All right, so that action is now done. It is our turn again. See, pretty simple. Pretty simple bot so far to run, I think. Okay, we have the contract. Is it nuts to just produce now? When we produce, it's going to wipe out our money, but we are going to be able to open up a new warehouse, which then when we drill and yeah, no, we're going to stay on target. All right. So we are going to go ahead and process, produce, whatnot. So worker will go there. Now we do, we have an interesting dilemma here. We either pay more cash or pay more bodies. I think we pay more cash in this case. So we're going to pay six bucks. Oh, that is so gross. We have seven. We are really short on money. But we're about to get more money. So which of our cards do y'all think we ought to keep? To me, Hmm. We have seven dollars. You know what? Which is more important, the action or the money right now? And I would argue the money. So if that's the case, I think we do this a little bit differently. We're going to go ahead and spend the brine and we're going to produce the geothermal which is four. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, lose us three workers, damage that uh, to get the battery as well. Stick with me. So this is now unavailable as an action. Here's why. It is free to take this card. And by just spending no money, just in action, we can then heal that back one, which saved us two bucks, and then it'll unlock that to be able to be used. So that means we only actually have to spend $4 as opposed to the six. So with that said, looking at that, I want to keep that one. I want to keep that one. And I think being able to drill again I think keeping that one. So we're gonna pay these four. There. We've paid those four bucks. We've done that. We've killed three workers, God rest their souls, but hey, they died heroes. That works. Cool, all right? Thanks, Alka Legend. I hope the three body, program, uh, three body problem is good. I haven't seen it yet, but I hope so. So that's our turn. We've produced, we're ready to complete that contract. We're in good shape. We're actually pretty close to completing that contract as well. So, yay. All right. It's third action. All right. So now he's going to complete a contract. Now, or execute a contract. Shh, boom. Uh, however, it never, comp it never, enters into a contract like it never takes contracts instead it just completes them so from the display so from the face up market the moment the actions performed i.e this right now provided that it has the required materials to do so it cannot and out of all of them, it will attempt to execute whatever grants the most victory points. And then if tied, it'll go in that order. So again, it has a battery or a lithium, a geothermal, and no brine. So all of these are, well, 10 points there and does not have the brine, does not have the brine, does not have the brine. It cannot complete the contract. That's cool. All right, so now it's going to attempt to research. It only acquires research cards with permanent effects. All right, hence the infinity symbol there. 
Uh, the immediate effects are ignored. It uh, simply acquires them without paying anything. It doesn't do it them anything. It's strictly in-game points. However, oh no, he does have room for one. Uh, it must have the available space on the top edge of the warehouse. It does. So let's move that off of there. Okay. And then it'll acquire the research card that shows the highest victory points. And if tied, it'll always go to the one on the right. So highest victory point. Those two, furthest one on the right, it will choose this one. It will then put it over here on its board. And... It will also get the share of red, just like for us when we do that. Good. All right. And it does abide by the limiter here as well, just like in the base game and the normal game. But everything there is legit. He is done. It is now our turn. We have three bucks left. We have two workers. We could complete the contract. I the order of operations here we could this card's gonna go away if we don't take it we really need that card back so we're gonna go ahead and research so we will then claim that card there it's free to do so that'll slot in right there that's our turn gmi goes All right, the GMI is going to attempt to repair. It always repairs one damage on the drill and one on its extraction plant, as shown there. It Now, it does not say anything about partial, but I would argue that it can partially do this. It does not have to pay, apparently, so it will go one there it says it does one and one so the fact that it can only do one i guess it stops there it is done our turn so i think we go ahead and complete our contract now i see no reason not to so we have that we will spend the battery to complete our contract we will get three bucks i'll get that in a minute we advance our uh indicator that opens up that warehouse by hitting that spot, we have a new spot, another multiplier there, and it's going to get us six points. Woo! And again, using the poker chips, just because I don't want to accidentally bump that. So there we go. Now we need to get three bucks. So the three bucks, we can take any of the $3 cards or the single cards. Uh... You know what? Ignoring the rocks right there, because if we take a look over here, this card is going to be a dollar and it's only one, but it's a card and we could ignore those two rocks and we're going to need to do that. Ah, that's that's hard to pass up, ain't it? I mean, the other the other argument you could make is one uh, that card for the research, I think. And the reason is this card up here, whenever we excavate, we just get a second one. It just materializes a second one. That's awesome. But we only have room for two brine. And we still have this card, which allows us to extract two. You know what? We're going to go and take that $3 card right there. Done. Final answer. That contract's complete. Our turn is over. Um, okay. For the GMI, its round ends when it's turned over all of its cards in its row, which, as you can see, it has done so. So its turn is done. 
Our turn is done. We're out of workers, so we go to the end of round stuff. Okay. So end of round is that goes away. Just going to file that right there. These will slide. I'm just going to do this left to right so I don't forget stuff. So new card there. Good. These are out of the game. I'll just move those over there. All right. So he's done. His cards get shuffled up. And here we'll just, there we go, like that, that was something like this, I think, probably easier if we do it that way, so I know, there we go, so there's his, he's on the first one, okay, it's going to become our turn to go first, but now, the, the right edge of all of these go away, there is nothing to shuffle up, and these go to the bottom of the deck. I will say that this is kind of tedious. So you know what? There's no way I'm going to be able to get through this whole deck, I don't think, for a while. So I'm just going to file those away like they're not in play, and it just saves me a little bit of work here. So the ones. But I feel like those are important to make sure that they're not here, right? Uh, these will slide over. Hold on. I did the five. The contract. That'll go to the bottom. And the rightmost. Oh, that, ah. But we got opened up our lowest warehouse at least. That goes to the bottom. That one goes there. Okay. Slide all of these and then refill. It's a lot easier when you have other people to help you with all this stuff. Multiplayer. Yeah. Hold on. That was first, then that. So the end of round stuff is kind of tedious, not going to lie, but it is what it is. All right. Uh, so that's that. Now we need to take our workers back. One, two, three. That's still unavailable. And four done this card comes back into our hand this is still available it hasn't been used we have one um geothermal available to us good that's it new card new round here we go i know seriously gmi's just sitting here watching me do this no help whatsoever Oh, that only ignores one rock. Damn you, Paul. Oh, you have a choice. You could either drill two layers or ignore one damage. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, that's right. All right, Barton. Paul wanted me to play truthfully fine all right now we cannot produce oh and this contract has been completed so we will just put it here to show that we have completed that one and done all right we need to heal before we can use that action again by the way these are from votes for women um they are not a part of this game but man it works well doesn't it uh But if we're going to do that, we might as well wait for right now because we're not going to process anytime soon. Looking at our contracts, there is a single geothermal and a single brine. That seems awfully good. I'm, I'm not going to think about this too, too hard and put too, too much thought into this stuff there. So we're going to go ahead there and we're going to go ahead and take that because again... While it doesn't help us with that, it does help us with that. And we're super close. As soon as we extract, we're going to be able to grab that contract. That just seems good. Plus, plus, that is one of the only two that he could do. He would choose that one. But I digress. I feel okay about it. Okay. All right. So here we go. 
All right, he's going to repair. He can repair, so therefore he will. He must be nice to have produced two things and already have no damage. Must be nice, dude. Must be nice. Um, I think we go ahead and grab a claim card, right? So now we stay on target for everything that we were talking about. Now, we do have that $3 card that allows us to ignore one rock. That only cost us a buck. And if we claim, if we use the card, the claim card, it's actually free. And it's a claim card. I wish it had bumps. That's the, like, I could make a case for, but yeah, that free is good. So we're going to go ahead and take that one, which technically is using that claims card there. There. So that bad boy will slot in right there. It is free to take because it was minus a buck on the display and it's minus a buck there. Done. We will slide and refill. By the way, the end game stuff and everything else about that and how the get, the bot scores, all of that is just like as if it were a normal player. I haven't said that, but I figure it was implied, but there we go. Yeah, I. you know what? I, I think Chris is onto something. So that's probably a good idea. So I think what we'll do here is that will just off to the side. I'll just move all the discards over and then shuffle them in as I need them. Um, so yeah, I just, again, it's just to make it easier. The, the tedium of the end of round stuff. All right. Going to complete a contract. Well, we know we can and the highest point value, uh, there's only one that he can complete. So he's going to complete it. That one is going to be that card right there. I'll leave it there for a minute. So it's going to cost him. Oh, he doesn't have the brine. Right. Never mind, he can't complete one. I forgot. He has geothermal and a battery. Slow your roll, dude. Can't complete a contract. Yes. Yes. All right. Research. He can't take one because he only has one open research space or one space for the for uh, permanent ones. These aren't open yet because he hasn't advanced that. So he won't take that action. Oh, buying shares. All right, let's take a look at this one. Uh, buying shares. It can only buy one share at a time, but it does not pay for it. Of course it doesn't. Uh, always buys the share that grants the most victory points uh, at the moment of purchase. Zero. 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 Okay. Um, sorry, lost my spot. There it is. There. Uh, if there's a tie, it applies the following. Blue co, yellow co, red co. It must respect the requirements. Da, 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 da. I can't go past the, the limits. Done. It bought a blue share. And also, it does take and get those and immediately executes them. Yeah, I think Bart has it nailed. The Automa complexity, really great. The turn up keep, maybe less so. That's a fair point. All right. We need to either drill, extract, and I still, I'm looking at that, and I... I just, it's worth two points to us because it'll be in the two multiplier spot. And anytime you extract, you get a plus one. That seems so good if you're going to get it early. It's only two bucks. Oh, man. That means we could extract this one and get two. 
which is our limit, and then worry about drilling. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's going to cost us two bucks, so it's going to cost us both of those. Which, every time we extract, effectively is an extract two now. So getting rid of that isn't a bad thing. Getting rid of the, the drill down two card, we have that in the $3 card that we're going to use. So all that feels like the right thing. So these are available to be chosen right now. We will take that. That will go right there. And we paid our two bucks. We get a red share for it. Boom. Done. All right. That felt good. All right. So processing. It has no brine. It will not process. Uh, extract. It, yeah. Hmm. GMI extracts up to three brines so long as they're available and it can store them. Normal limits. I would argue it can extract one, so therefore it will do so. It extracts one, so for all intents and purposes, the drill is there and boom. Now it can complete that contract, done. All right, so now I think we go ahead and extract. I think so, with our last action. So our last action will be to extract. It'll use that one plus, we get a plus one that just materializes out of nowhere. One, two. And by doing so, just like what GMI did, that will flip over. And we now can complete our contract next turn. Uh, all right, we're done. GMI still has a card, so therefore it still has an action. Drill, baby, drill. Okay. Hey. Don't judge. Uh, so can drill one there. Grrr, hits Iron Pyrite. There we go. Takes a little damage. Done. Okay. Welcome, E. All right. End of the round. There. And now we will go left to right, just like I said. There. There are two cards left in the shallow deck. So, okay. Done. These will get shuffled. Pretty simple so far, as far as like running that. That's always really, really nice. Okay, so this card goes away, and those will go away. The three goes away, the five goes away, that goes up top that goes up top and then slide yeah that is way easier okay yep and let's face it those cards that i just tossed out are out of play anyways so i don't think it really matters like yeah i might need them later on but i can always shuffle them in and i'm really okay with any kind of perceived imbalance that that might give for the ease of being able to do this and that the speed at which this is and less fiddliness totally worth it all right so that's done now our turn so let's see two three four no no leave those go there that looks right that's still invalid good done all right yeah that's way better y'all so, good call. Who was that? Chris. Good call. All right. GMI's first turn. Going to complete a contract. He can now that he has the brine, right? So, again, completing the contract, it is... Uh, 
the one that grants the most victory points, and then it goes Purple Co, Orange Co, Teal Co. It has one of each. That's 12 points. It'll complete that one. Okay. It does have all of it. So I'm going to spend all of its resources. Done. It's going to get six bucks. And when it, ta uh, when it takes money, uh, a moment, um, highest value cards possible on the farthest right of that row. And if it doesn't have the liquidity to do so, it'll take as many as possible and that the money stays there. So in that case, it's going to take the rightmost five and the rightmost one for the six bucks that it gets. These will just go there because it never gets contracts like that, right? And I'll just store it up there since we got open space. All right. Next, it will get two bumps to the right and 12 points. So 12 points for that. And again, in case I accidentally bump it, 12, okay, and two bumps, warehouse, and that will immediately happen. Boo. So the warehouse space, let's see. Yeah, these will actually, that way he has room to store his permanent cards right there. That works out pretty well. Okay, so it now has room for that. So it got its six bucks. It got its two bumps, which opened up this in the new card, boo. And the 12 points, he's done. That is that action. Okay, cool. Yeah, again, um, yeah, that's definitely more efficient. Agree. Good call, Chris. Um, and again, I'm I'm going to double check and try and take my time a little bit on this. Make sure that I'm not missing anything. I'm skipping anything. So it is our turn. We can complete our contract, which gives us another worker. Or, hear me out. Just thinking my way through. We currently have that. I would like an orange co. Okay, so here's, here's the thought process. Whether we complete this one or we complete this one, that is a green contract, right? And either way, we're going to have to process again to be able to get that orange co, whether we do that or that. So in that case, we might as well just keep that one. So do we do, we do this now, which would give us another worker? Do we drill first? I don't think we need a claim. They're really expensive right now anyways. Um, I think we do the contract. There's nothing I don't think super vital. And until we open up our second warehouse, we can't even worry about getting any of those cards until we actually fix our stuff. Have a good one, Alyssa. All right. Uh, hopefully it doesn't run more than two hours. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll go ahead and complete our contract there. So that's going to be two bucks. And I will take... I... Honestly, I think I'll just go ahead and take... I can't take a research card for a while, so we'll take these two. So we take those two cards. Done. Slide that over so I have room. Okay, these are ours. Just kind of, there we go. Uh, we get a bump. Gives us another worker and six points. We're now tied 12-12. Okay, done. GMI's turn. It will drill. It only has a drill of one currently, and it will do so. Right there, done. Okay. Now, I think we are going to do somewhat similar. And we will take our high value drill and ignore a rock, because that's worth, saves us three points. So that, to take a worker, 
drill down one level, which all of this is one level, and ignore one ra rock, but er, there we go. Boom, done. That was worth it. GMI. It has nothing. It will not process. It can extract. It can only extract one, so it's going to extract one. So now, uh, sorry, it can extract uh, two. I apologize. It can extract that one and can extract that one. So now it goes one. And you know what? I'm going to do it this way and the cards can go underneath it. I think it makes more sense because this is closer to where it is. So help me remember that it has two brine. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, that, that contract, that bad boy should, like, go up there. It's completed the contract. Sorry, I just forgot to grab it. Good call. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so it did that. Okay, our turn. What are we trying to do now? We need to extract. Do we? No. We need to heal. Ooh. And if we're going to do it, we might as well make most use of it. We don't need a claim anytime soon. So that we don't need to drill, but we may need a contract. So we're going to spend $3. And we're going to take that action right there that allows us to fix two spots at a discount of three dollars normally they cost three dollars a piece but there's a freebie and the one done that felt good that's nice i like that because that now means that is now available yay all right gmi's turn it can heal so it will It's not the most efficient. He just likes keeping running a clean ship. Can't say I blame him for that. Okay. All right. Now what? We have two actions left. You know what? That and that. I forgot to expend my resources when we completed that my bad my bad okay so we have a brine but we don't have the money to do things extracting feels not great oh That feels really good. I Okay, I just had a an idea in my head. Where was it? Right. We're going to sell that brine, which is going to allow us to then extract or to process next turn to be able to complete that contract. So, maybe we don't sell it. We know we need that contract. He can't complete it. But you know what? It gives us an extra buck. We'll use that contract, we'll get a dollar, we'll claim that contract. That's going to be the third color that we need, and we're ahead. So I like our chances of being able to hit that. And we get a dollar. Now, we could choose this one, which will give us a research discount. That one's going to go away. Being able to drill and ignore two rocks? Or do we draw one of these randomly? You know what? I'm fine with that. We'll take that one dollar. Done. So we took contract good. He has taken four actions. We have taken one, two, three, four actions, and he was first. There we go. Just making sure that we got it all. There we go. Last action for him. He will drill, and he can. 
Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. He's out of actions. We're not. Now we can go ahead and sell. Although we are getting this back. We're going to have $5. Do we need to sell? Because if we don't sell, we don't need to extract. We can just process. Okay. So if we don't sell, what do we do? We don't have room for a contract. We have one buck. So we can't take a research. We have no room currently. We can't take a contract. We don't want to sell. We could buy a share, but that's inefficient. Shares are a dollar for the red, but we could buy two. That doesn't make sense. If we extract now, we only extract one, but it's free to do it. Claim cards are too expensive. We could take a buck or extract one. Hey, Jacob, that's all right. Glad you made it. Extract one, and we would normally be able to extract two, but we can't because we only have room for one. I think we go ahead and extract one. Done. End of the round. This goes away. There's one card left in the uh, in the surface extraction. Okay. There. So then this one goes away, this one, all of the ones that are in the discard, that one goes away. You know what, we'll just turn them face up so I don't get them mixed up. There we go. And then slide, yeah, this is way better. Especially since GMI is not helping. Still in the single, oh, that is the sing, last single dot uh, uh, contract. There we go. All right, and we need to move that to us. Okay. I think I've done everything. Oh no, our board now. There, this card goes away. That will go there. Uh, this card gets just kind of set aside. That's out. There is nothing at the end of the game that has to do with these. So honestly, I'm just going to put it into discards. We're just not going to work our way through it in a two player. I'm not too worried about that. And these come back to us as well. All right, good, good. So our turn, we now have five bucks in our pocket. If we get another dollar. Now, so here's an interesting thing. If we extract or process, whether we go one, two or one, two, three, we're still not going to be able to until we fix it. And we're always trying to do it most efficiently. So you know what? I think we go ahead and process it now. So we take that action there. It's going to cost us $4. Which means... Oh, by the way, this slides over. Also, there. So we're losing that card, but I think it's worth it. So that's 4 bucks there. So that gives us produces or loot, changing one brine into a geothermal and then one, two, three human lies for a battery. There we go. And now we cannot process there. But worth it to me, judge, 
harshly. I'm fine with that. All right, completing a contract. He cannot. Has none. Uh, research card. He has room for one. So we will take a research card. In the research, it, he has an available space. So let's take a look. More research. The high, Well, literally the only one that he can take is that one. It is strictly in-game points for him. That is four points. Right there. Done. I see no reason to not complete the contract straight away because that's going to open up our second warehouse space, which I think is going to be beneficial for us. So we will complete this contract that will spend the battery, spend the geothermal. We will get two bumps, one, two, which opens up that. And you know what? At this point, Yeah, it's a little far. Let me. Yeah, that's okay. I think we're okay. That'll work. All right. Uh, so we get the two bumps. We need to get five dollars and ten points. So ten points. There's a twenty. Get rid of the ten. We're at twenty-two. And by doing that. That is all three, but I'll, I'll finish that in a minute. The five dollars. Whoa. Oh no. Sorry about that, y'all. Let's try that again. Hit the wrong button. That's better. Problem solved. There we go. There. So we got five bucks. Is there anything here that we desperately need? I mean, it's a. That's a free repair, a one, just straight up one, get one repair. But the problem is we're now using it and now we can't use the other money. And it locks up five bucks. This one has the three. We do have a brine to sell, but I don't think that is useful. Hmm. No, it does not. Nope. It slides down, Bart. Uh, five bucks. Huh. You know, interestingly enough, we know what this is. We know that that is a drill card as well. For a three. We have to repair to be able to process anymore. I think we take that as the $3 and then the two singles. I'll take the share one and the contract one. That's the five bucks. We got the two bumps and the $10. That's done, but We now claim this card. We have one of each contract. We'll score it at the end of the game. So I'll just put it up there as a reminder for us. Done. And move that over. These are ours. All right. That was a good, good action, I think. Felt good. He cannot drill. He cannot take a research card. Take shares. Let's see. Uh, buying shares, it buys one, doesn't pay for it. Uh, most victory points, they're all worth zero, so he will buy a blue share in that case. A blue share, still below that, so therefore, he now gets a single bump on that track, like so, done. Okay, our turn.
We can take research cards now. I think we take this research because it's going to save us on our drilling. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Wrong one. Wrong one. This one first. This is free and it's a discount of three bucks. So we're going to go ahead and take a research card. And honestly, we'll use this one, not take our card because that it's already free. So that will go there. Done. That's our action. All right. GMI's turn. Process still doesn't, uh, no, does have brine. Check that. Has two brine, in fact. So two brine, he will just straight up turn those two brine into those without expending any damage to his infrastructure. So that two brine will go one, two, and he gets one and one, like so. By the way, he does have room for another geothermal if the time comes. He's done. Okay. So now, I think we go ahead and take another uh, claim card. The reason is, this claim card, if we get that one that costs two bucks, this is free. And this is already free. It's four minus one, costs three bucks. So this is free to take. That seems like a not terrible thing. There, done. And now if we take that research, it only costs us a buck to take that card and we have a home for it. So seems like a good idea to me. He cannot drill. He will claim, uh, take a claim card a moment. Should have refilled these. Whoop. All right, that's the end of the surface ones. So those now come into play. And that's probably going to be the trigger for the end of the game. He's going to take this one. It's free for him to take. And then those slide. And that goes there. All right. Now, staying on target with our last action, we will go ahead for a dollar less, go ahead and claim that card as mentioned. It's worth a point. Whoop. There. And it's going to cost us a dollar. So I think we'll go ahead and the one that gives us the buck. Yeah, I think we get rid of that one because I want to save that. That's going to save us a buck as well. You know what? I like contracts. We'll get rid of that one. Done. GMI's turn. He cannot repair. He's completely... Healed. Must be nice. Uh, all right. So the first time he is going to sell here. All right. So let's walk through this. He can sell lithium or geothermal energy uh, that it has in its warehouse. It will always choose to sell whichever it has more of. And if tied, it will sell lithium. It has one lithium and one geothermal. So it will sell one lithium. Always sells to the corporation that pays the most. If tied, it'll be whose ever financial asset is lowest. And if still tied, blue co, yellow co, red co. All right. So whichever will pay the highest, it said. So it looks like nine bucks. That will go up one. It will pay that. And it's going to take nine dollars. Again, it will take the furthest to the right. A five a three and a one and it sticks over there that's its money
Yep, done. Okay. He is done for the round. We are done for the round. We are done. We will change turn order. That goes there. This goes away. Those slide. And in case y'all are wondering, eight left. Do like that. How's that? All right. Uh, end of the round. So let's see. There. All right, this goes away, there, there. So those are now gone, contract gone, and that goes away. Everything slides to the right. So what do y'all think so far of A, the game in general, but also just the solo specific? I think it's flown really well, personally. I'm stressed just because we have a patron-only stream following up as soon as this is over, but that may start a little bit late depending on how this goes. These are ours. All right, our workers back. One, two, Three, nope. Four and five. That goes. We completed the contract, so that clears that space out there. All right. And it is GMI's turn. Here we go. Uh, complete a contract. He only has a single geothermal. And wouldn't you know he can. He has a single geothermal. And it just so happens. So he gets a buck. So the rightmost buck goes there. Uh, he gets one bump. Which opens up another warehouse. Sneaky, sneaky. And he gets four points. And again, the whole reason for the poker chips is just to double check that and to make sure I'm not screwing that up. That's all. That is the contract. Well done, you. All right. Ah. What are we trying to do now? We clearly need to repair. We need to drill. Uh, a moment. Y'all help me out. I think we use that one. Yeah, we did. We use this one. So this one should go away. And that should slide over. Apologies. Forgot. So we could go ahead and just drill. Oh, uh, that's drill two. Drill down two and ignore two rocks. But I would want another claim to do. Oh. And again, this is helping us with that end game one. Plus, it's the timer of the game. Like, there's a lot of reasons. This seems like a pretty good idea. We're low on resources. We need money and all that fun stuff. Oh, boy. That's not worth it. Repairing, we can only afford a single. That doesn't seem worth it. For a buck, huh? I 
I just don't think shares are going to be worth a ton in this game. So I don't know how important it is to bump up those. So if that's the case, yeah, we're going to go ahead and acquire a claim. This one only costs one buck. So that's going there. It's not worth a lot, but again, it's working us towards that. So the buck is going to be that, which is the research card there. Hey, Chris. Uh, yeah, done. GMI goes. He can drill. Oh, this is the advanced card. Okay, so he's only drilling one. Okay. That will drill down. Grr, hits the rock. Okay. Have a good one, Bart. Thanks for... Work needs sleep beforehand. Yeah, who knew, right? All right, yeah, you're welcome. Hopefully you come back and get a chance to watch it later. So now that that's done, I think, I think we go ahead and drill down two and ignore two rocks. So right there. So we drill down two levels. One, two. These are all single level ones. It just so happens. See, there's no lines in between all of that. We ignore both of those rocks. That just seems awesome to me. So, yay. That's good. GMI takes their turn. Process. They have no brine. So, therefore, they will extract three... And they can actually hold all three. Ah, uh, they can only extract two. But they're allowed to extract three when they do this. So that goes one, two. That is one. Oh, uh, yeah, one, two. Could do another, but can't. So now this card is done. So they're going to get a bump here, which means they get another action this turn. So another worker. And uh, they're going to score five points. And that card will live right there. So five points means they're at 21. Done. That's a, that's a long list of, of actions for them. Yeah, for a couple of reasons. All right. We're going to go ahead and extract just this one. Which, again, is two because the second one materializes. That's two. It completes this card. That'll be five points. Done. And now this can go away. But we keep it, uh, we'll go ahead and put those right there. All right, done. GMI's turn. Uh, repair. He can repair now. He could repair too, but again, he's not efficient, but he just wants to operate a clean ship. I would love to repair, I just can't afford it is the problem. Now I'm wishing we took that cell too. Oh? Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We will sell one brine Uh, we'll go ahead and sell it to Yellow Co. Just because I don't want to make these more expensive quite yet. And I'm not going to help him. So, that makes sense. So we'll sell it there. That's going to get us three bucks. 
And you know what? Now we'll take that card just in case. Although I have a feeling I know what I'm going to use it for, which is not going to be to sell. GMI's turn, his fifth action, uh, to drill, and he can, so he will drill. Not very efficient, though, because right there, only into an empty spot. So if you notice, his... I'll get it right there. There you go. You can see those lines in between. So there's three layers on that one. Clearly, some of us are paying attention to the end game stuff, but he clearly is not. All right. So now that we can afford it, we will go ahead and play that repair card, which is a $2 discount. And the two cards we have left, which are $4, four plus two is six. Boop, boop. Hey, that works for me. We are out of workers. He, however, is not. And that means that we are back in business, y'all. Hold on, David just chimed in. Hi, David, first off. Says, hi, Edward, you must spend another brine. The action is more potent, but you must have enough brine available on the claim cards. Oh! Okay, fair enough. Okay, so, now I understand what you're saying. Took me a second. So what you're saying is, on this is... You, another one's not materializing. So when I when I when I uh, extract, I'm extracting. It's as if I played a two extraction card. Got it. Now I've used that card twice, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover up those two. See, and we thought this was whenever you extract, no matter how much you extract, you get a plus one. That just means for every extraction, you can extract a second. So if I played an extract two, I could extract four, provided you must have to have, to have them available then. I think that's right then. All right, thanks, David. Again, trying to play it right, but that could have been interpreted a couple different ways. So now, he will extract three. He will not, because he cannot. He has access to none. So instead, he will drill, and he is only going to drill down one. And he has reached the end of his. Done. Okay. We're out of workers. He's out of workers. We're done. First player mar marker will move over to my side. We will shuffle these. Uh, first up, should have replaced that. I apologize. Now that one will fall off. I forgot. So two will come out. So that is here. And there are six cards left. Yeah, six left. All right. That's it here. This one goes away. That one goes away. That one goes away. That goes away. And that goes away. Everybody slides. Y'all digging it? I certainly am. I'm definitely feeling the stress of the game. Not just because I'm playing this on camera, but in general. All right, now, this comes back into my hand. Worker comes back, comes back. This card goes away because it's not a part of end game stuff. That's five and done. Yeah, shuffle up his. All right. All right. Glad you can make it, David. Cool. Okay, our turn. What are we trying to do? I have three bucks to my name. Oh. 
I would like to complete some contracts. I have nothing. You know what? If y'all look at this contract, it requires... Uh, it's the wrong color. That's the only downside. But I think it's still worth it. Because right now it's one-to-one -one on that. So it requires three geothermal. And if you look over here, this one requires three geothermal. So that's an extra four points. So I don't know. Do we go for this one, which requires two lithium, which is going to be really hard to get? It's just expensive. And I can't, I can't hold two. Oh. Whichever one I don't take, I have a feeling he's going to. Here's another case for why we would want to take that one is because it gives us a yellow bump on the share track, and that's that. All right. I think I talked myself into it, so I'm going to take a contract. Plus, it gives us an absolute direction to go. Done. Yeah, all right, done. Does the game scale well? Um, so far, uh, I've played it two, three, and four, and I think so. I think, so. or one, three, and four, technically, which is like a two-player game. So I think so. Uh, he's going to complete a contract. He has one geothermal, and he has two brine. He cannot complete a contract. So he's not going to complete a contract. Instead, he does have room. He is going to instead take a research card and the only one he can take is going to be worth six points for him. Boo. So that will go there. Boo. Boo that bot. Boo. I think we need to sell again. I mean, there's that also. Could take that free research, which would give me potentially two shares of yellow, which that's worth seven, maybe 10 points. That is a non-trivial amount of points. Or do I stay on target and just ex? No, I don't want to. No, or do we sell? I think we go ahead and sell first. So there, I will sell one. I think. He doesn't pay for shares, but I do. I know I'm going to go up. Ah. You know what? Let's sell to red, and that's going to be three. I'm angry that I didn't do that first, but oh well. I'll take... We need cash so bad. One... Two, three, done. Hate it, but we're done. Oh, thank you. And, yes, and and uh, good call. GMI, I forgot, gets another share of blue. So, one share of red and three shares of blue now. There we go. And it takes the top one. And it will immediately... Take a share at a discount of $3. It will go whatever is the highest point, which it currently is none of them. 
If tied, it will take a blue. Oh, that's dirty. Ah, uh, there. And now it gets another there. Ah, good call. Yep. Okay, the second action. He cannot drill, so he will take a claim card. He'll take the bottommost claim card, bottommost claim card, and pay not five dollars, pay zero. Cheats. Just saying. Done. Five cards left. Oh, okay. We need money. We could process. And I need... That gets us two, but we can't get the third geothermal. But it wipes out almost all my money again. Oh, that's so rough. But, yeah, no, I need the third geothermal. We can extract it, and then I guess we sell, and then we have to... Oh, God, that's so bad. But I don't want to spend that $3 one, so i got to wait until I get another dollar. How do I get another dollar? I could do that. <sighs> yeah, you know what? We're just going to take the pity buck. Done. All right. He will extract one, not three. Could theoretically extract three, but can't because he has the room to extract one. So that'll be there. All right. So extracting the one, that will go there. And now he will get a bump and five points. The bump is that to open up his third warehouse. And five points. He's taking the lead. He's up to 20. Oh, nope, not quite taking the lead, but there. So those go away. The drill can come back up there. And that will go there. And that is his second card he has three we currently have three <sighs> okay all right our turn we now have the four bucks we're gonna have to i just i hate it but we have to before we do that before we do that, we will extract again. And again, if we can extract two, we can, and we can. So we're going to extract one, two. So that will go one, two. This card is done. That's going to get us that, which gets us our extra worker, our sixth, and worth five points. Up to 33. Done. Okay. GMI's turn. Oh, God! I messed up! Ah! Yeah, I see it now. I did mention, can't go past that. So hold on. That goes, so he wastes that share. Which means that goes back and that goes back. Apologies. My bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just missed it. Uh, oh, it takes the tile instead. Fair enough. Oh, awesome. Seven points. Gross. Four and three. We're tied now. Is it 33? That's just straight up seven points. Yep. Good catch, David. Thank you. I just missed it. All right. 
his turn. He will drill down one. Grr. There we go. Done. Now we will go ahead and bite the bullet and process. So there. It's going to cost us four bucks. That is going to be all four of those there. That's going to be a geothermal. And then kill two workers. That is another geothermal. And that costs us one brine. And by dropping all the way down here, once again, we cannot do this. Gur. Oh, the gur you heard was the arms in the machine. It's dark. Oh, hey, he likes running a clean ship, doesn't like any kind of damage. So therefore, he will repair that for free. Done. Back to us. We have one worker left. I would love to heal the two bumps back, but that's only a $2 discount and that doesn't do us any good. Now we do have some brine that we could sell. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Yep. So we, ah, I cannot because that's covered and I don't want to spend the, yeah, I don't have the buck to spend. Why not? For their last worker, we'll go go ahead and take the free research. The free research is going to get us a free share of yellow, at least. So we'll take that, throw that on our board there, and that is our round. GMI's last turn. Process, and he will. He has two brine. Yes, he has two brine. So it's going to be a geothermal and a lithium. So the two Brian are going to go one, two, one geothermal, one lithium, done. That's the end of the round. Left, we'll start on the left. That goes away, drops. Four cards left. Turn order will change. These will get shuffled. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is, uh, this is definitely interesting. So that's my card. This one goes away. Goes away. So what are y'all thinking at home? Both how, A, well, less so how I'm playing and more about what you think of the game so far and the way the bot runs. All right, our workers come back there, there, and I think that's it. All right, GMI is first turn. Extract three, he can extract one and he has room for it, so he will do so. So that one will go right there and that will be there. Done. 
No, it really doesn't seem bad at all, Chris. It's not. Oh, it's it's definitely a crunchier than White Castle show it time. And like what I like what we said last night, the value for um for the cost of the game, for the size of the box, you know, the amount of game that you get into boxes. It's awfully strong for sure. All right, so we need one more geothermal for sure. Um It, it's a slow process, but I think we have to sell another brine. And at this point, you know what? We'll sell it to red again, and that'll be three bucks. And the three dollars. I mean, being able to sell two at a time would have been nice had I had it. Another research card. Being able to sell three at oh. You know what? Let me roll that back a little. Given what's out there, I'm not going to sell. Instead, we're going to go ahead and take a research card because of the fact that. Nope, stay on target. Fact that this one showed up. That is, you can sell up to three, and if you do, you get an extra buck. Sorry, you get an extra buck and three points if you sell two. Yeah, that'll work, and it's free. That'll do. That seems worth the worker. He will drill down one level. Done. Now, now, we will sell using that. We can only, now, oh, ho, 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 ho. Is that crazy what I'm thinking about? Selling a geothermal and both brine? Or two geothermal? No. No. One geothermal and two brine? That would get us an extra $2 and three points. You know what? I think we do it. I think we sell the geothermal and two brine. That's going to give us a crap ton of money to be able to do stuff with. And I think it's worth it. I think that gets us out of our the, the, the hole that I'm kind of in right now. So with that said, we sell one geothermal and two brine. Whatever it is only goes up one. We'll go there. Plus, it's worth the most. So a geothermal is worth seven and two brine is worth six. That's 13 plus another two is 15 bucks and three points. One, two, three. So that is, what did I say? 15 bucks. Wow. Okay. Three fives maybe. I don't know. That's got to be one of them, right? Oh, God, there's two of them. Look at that. Wow. But we are definitely going to need another claim. So we're definitely going to pick those. Then we have five more. Wow. This is nice.
You know what? I like being able to extract more. So that's 11. We'll grab another repair. You know what? Instead of the other repair, I think we take that one that claims. So that is 14 so far. And the 15 will be maybe another contract. We'll see. So that's 15 bucks in cash and prizes. Plus that that we have there. That'll do. That felt amazing. Let me tell you. 15 bucks? Yeah, 28 bucks at Boardlandia. That's... Yeah, that, that, that's hard to beat. That's pretty incredible what DeVere is doing. Um, they have two brine and they can't. They do have... Oh, he's going to beat me to it. Glory to Rome. He's going to get a battery and a geothermal. So, one, two. He gets a geothermal and a battery. So he has three geothermal. Ah! Score it at the end. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. I was never going to be able to beat him anyway to it, but I, that sucks. All right. So what do we need to do? We need to fix our infrastructure and we need a claim. So let's take a look at the claims first. So what do we like? I can get, let me see here. We have these cards. So $3 less or $2 less. This one's just straight up free. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we need to overthink it. I think we just take the freebie. So we'll use that $3 card as the action for it. So that will go there. That goes there. And that'll be free. Three left. Meaning, if two get taken, the game's over. That's the last round. John, I'd sell my soul for $15 in this game. That's what I'm saying, right? You feel me, John. You feel me. All right. Uh, GMI's <laughs> turn. <laughs> uh, he can drill down one more level. So he will. He'll drill down to there. Uh... You'd think he'd want to sell some of this stuff for complete contracts, but hey, I'm not here to judge. Okay, so we have our claim. We clearly need to fix our infrastructure, so that's what we're going to do now. We will spend money to do so, which hurts us to do, but $2 less, so we're going to owe 4 bucks to go one, two. Clears that off. we got to spend the 4 bucks. <gasps> we don't have it. A five, a five, a one, and a one. So hold on. So you know what? Instead, we'll just do it there and pay the six, and we'll save that for later. The six will be the contract... And saving the three dollars for the claim. That seems okay. So there's six bucks. And we healed that. And we still have this card for later. So so be it. That's fine. And we're not wasting that way. Oh, now he's completing the contract. He can complete any of them. Uh let's see. Whatever gives him the most victory points. So most victory points, that's going to be that one. Well, I'm glad that... Oh, go oh God, no! Ah, oh, really? Oh, that's, that's hurtful. And he has it. Ouch. 
clearly he knew what he was doing when he uh when he went to go take that card. Two and two, huh? One, two, one, two. Thanks for the uh thanks for the subscription. Who was that? Let me get the name. Pagodin. Thanks for the subscription over on Twitch. I appreciate that. Thank you. But man, that was hurtful and mean. All right, so he spent his resources there. All right, so what's he doing? He's getting 11 bucks. So write most cards. 5, 10, 11. Oh, you are a terrible, terrible bot. I hate you. Uh, let's see, what else? He's getting two bumps. That's, oh. And that, that one, ah, in 20 points. 53. Ouch. The only saving grace is at least it wasn't another purple. So there's that. Ouch. That was awesome to see, though, but I hate it. The fact that, oh, wow, why is he doing all, oh, but ow. Like, that was clever. I got a hats off, but glory to Rome to you. Yeah. All right, I would sell the soul of my... Workers for $15. How's that, Shrey? Figure that's a little bit more uh, thematic on that point. All right, so now we can produce. And I think we do. We have the four. Bu oh, oh, right. We have that one. That's what we're going to do. It's only two bucks, though. So to use this card, we need two bucks. And the problem with that is we only have a one and a three and I don't want to waste it. So let's wait to produce. So if we're not going to produce. Oh, here we go. You know what? Let's extract. That'll be the second one here. That'll get us a point and... Two extractions, one, two, this one goes away. And we'll get our measly point, but hey, we now have four claims to his three. So at least there's that. All right, so we get a point. Done. That didn't help me at all for what it was I was trying to do. I don't know why I did that. Let it lie. Uh, doesn't need to repair. Must be nice. And so I, I would say I'm not bitter, but I, I'd be lying. I totally am. Uh, so he has no lithium, but he will sell a geothermal. Uh, the one that pays the most for geothermal is red. That's going to be seven bucks for geothermal for, so we get seven. There are no fives, three, six, that's mine, seven. He will take those. And he goes down to geothermal. One moment. Yeah, okay, good, done. Oh, all right, so end of the round, right? We're, oh, no, I have a worker left. A moment. So I need a buck. 
Golly. Um... Is it worth selling a brine for three bucks? And, but, oh, here, oh, 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 no. And here's why. These are our cards. The market currently only has one one or a three. And the whole point of doing this is getting a single dollar. So you know what? Believe it or not, it makes more sense to do that because that's the only way I can do that. Oh, and a double drill. You know what? Hold on. Let me, let me see. I can't have done that. I could only extract one because I haven't drilled down that. Yep. All right. That's the end of the round now. Our turn to go first. That one goes away. That drops down. There are two cards left. So if one of those get taken, it won't be for me. But if he takes one of those, next round is the last round. And there is a very good likelihood that he's going to take one of those. Okay. Yep. Yep, I got there. I got there, David. I realized my mistake. All right. All right. So let's see. I'll do the cards afterwards. So give me one second. Three, four, five, six. This one goes away. That comes back into my hand. All of mine is right, and now the cards go away. So the ones, threes, wow. This is the first time I've ever seen that, the entire card market blown up. That's kind of cool. So this should be the last time that we do this. Hmm. Cash instead of bodies. Interesting. You know what? I desperately want one of those purple contracts. I really do. He's out of resources. We will be when we're done, but we at least have a brine. We can gonna be able to complete that. The question is, can we complete a second one? That's a Brian and two batteries. Like, I don't know if that nine points is going to be worth that or not. Or if the thing is I'm de depriving him of nine, because right now we're both getting it at one one. So I don't think that's gonna be worth it. All right, so it's our turn. We need Two bucks. I'm debating whether or not to hold on to the double drill because that gets us down to there. Oh. That would be his fourth car, uh, his fourth claim. I have four. I need to take one more. I don't need to complete it. I just need to own it. So you know what? We're not going to do that first. I can't... So these two dollars, I could waste a dollar. In hindsight, I might actually do that. But I, oh, the ones I, all the cards I have, I need to use as the cards themselves. Okay. Ha, huh. that's something. You know what? Don't laugh. 
I need two dollars. No, we're not going to do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to drill down two steps. There, done. Okay. This is going to be the last round. Well, there. Well, this this defines it. He can't drill, so he's going to take the lowest claim card. Lowest claim card is going to be this one. And that will definitively be the end of the game. Uh, oh, no, I guess it wouldn't, but we're still going to take one, so it doesn't matter. There we go. And now that he's taken his fourth... Do we extract or do we do that first? Hold on. Let me see. It's $4. No. We're going to go ahead and extract this first. I guess actually I don't need that card because I only have two. Hold on. No, I won't do that. I don't need this card. because I have the extract two effectively there with the action there. I think we just bite the bullet. I need a claim card. That's going to be $2 less. $2 less is, that's four, that's $2. And I'm just going to waste the three. And I will claim that. Done. That guarantees us that one. So be it. Uh, he can't repair, he can't sell, so he will spend $3, I believe. Yeah, he'll spend 3 to move that over to unlock his last warehouse. And that 3 bucks is there. I, exactly, Jason. I want my $2 as he rides his bike. I get it. Uh, okay, now I do need the other dollar. Done. He can extract three. And he can hold all three. That'll be one, two, three, and finishes that card. So that's going to be one, two, three. He's going to slide two bumps and get five points. He's really good at this game. He gets his last action, his last worker, and five more points. And this card goes away. Oh, by the way. Five points here. That will trigger the end of the game at the end of this round because there aren't enough to refill it. All right. Now we will go ahead and process. It's going to cost us two bucks. That two bucks will be these two bucks. And it's going to be one geothermal for that brine, and then another two workers' deaths to be a, a third geothermal. But now we can complete that. It was worth it. I could process again, theoretically. Two more brine. Huh. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have the cash, so... Out of business effectively 
All right, he will drill down now. One level. Grr, grr. There we go. We will complete our contract. So that'll be five bucks. Which five bucks is not six, and I'm gonna be a dollar short. Oh, that is brutal! Uh, unless there is a no, this works out. I'll take that for my five dollars. Then I get a bump on yellow and 12 points. 12 puts us at 49. Okay, his turn. He will go ahead and process, and this is the easy level, keep that in mind, to brine into a geothermal and a lithium. One, two, there, and there. Can you imagine if we gave him his cards to start? So our last action, this is worth three points if we do this. I I see a better idea. Yep. We will instead buy two shares. At five bucks, a buck of it's wasted, but so be it. Shares are two bucks a piece, one, two, and David. Question is, can I use these right away? Because I reread the rule book. I don't think there's a rule against it. So I think I can. So choosing one of those, clearly the research is the right answer. I believe you can. Assuming I can. Have a good one, Chris. I don't like my chances seeing as that was my last action except for this. So looking at the rule book on those. When your token reaches a profit sharing icon, take whatever profit sharing tile you want from the stack, leave it next to your board. Uh, they're secondary actions. Don't require an engineer to perform. You can resolve them before or after your main action you carry out. You can only use one per turn. Once you use, leave it face down. If the reward is printed on the board, claim it immediately. So I would argue it doesn't say that you can't do it right away. So, research action, minus two bucks. So anything that is free up there and hey, I'll take the other three points there and that is a i can use it now he said and i get a share of red and that'll be worth three points right there share of red doesn't matter it's not worth anything but the important thing was that which is going to be that as long as he doesn't mess me up here we are done our game is fini he <laughs> can he uh he has one battery and, ah, he cannot. He has one of everything. Cannot. Oh, thank God. But he can't take... <laughs> careful what you ask for. He can take a research action. And he does, oh, God. This is worse. This is 12 points. <laughs> oh, so he takes that one and puts it right there. Oh, I hate you so much. I am getting smoke like a pack of cools. And then finally he will sell one thing 
the lowest value. The lowest value, I would argue, is zero, so he will push the that, which is going to be worth more points for him. He pushes the blue, he sells the blue, he will sell the battery for nine bucks there, and they're now worth a point for him. So he spends his battery, he gets nine bucks. Five, three, and one there that's the last action all right so now we go into final scoring oh this is painful uh, i'm gonna go ahead and score all my stuff first and then uh and then and then then we'll score his because this should be entertaining okay all right all right so here we go Total value of your action cards that you have in hand. Two points for every $3. Two points for every three. We have $9. That's six points. To 55. Now that I know the money is all right, we'll do it that way. So these can go away a moment. All right. Uh, he has no action card, so he doesn't score for that anyways. Shares that you've obtained in different corporations. Eh, we'll score at the same time. That's fine. Um, all right. So now, reds are worth zero. Yellows are worth zero. Blues are worth a point one each. One, two, three. That wasn't too, too painful. He's at 61. Okay. Next. Product in your warehouse. Oh, real quick. One, two, three. I forgot to move my brine down. He has a geothermal and a brine. Geothermal are three. Brine are worth one. And uh, lithium are worth five. So he has four. So we'll move that over. He gets four points. Up to 65. Okay. Okay. Research cards. This is this is gonna hurt. Uh, never use that, by the way. But on the positive note, that is one point nothing, and that is three points as opposed to two. So three. That is four for us. To fifty nine. He, on the other hand, uh, that is three times four. Two times three, two times two, and one times one. So four, six, that's 10, 11. 11 and 12 is 23. All right, 23, 88. Okay. Short term, so gray stars. Neither of us, no, he made it to the end. So he... Did reach the end. He got an extra star here. So that's going to be five points for that. I did not make it to the end. I only get five points, not the star for that. Okay. And then end game uh, goals. I have five. He has four. We win this, but we don't get the bonus. So I only get the seven. 71. Yellow shares, I did eke that out at the end, so I get 7. He would have gotten 10, but 7 for the good guys. 4 and 3 to 78. And then finally, we both get that. He gets 12, however, I get 9 because he made it to the end of his track. So 12 for him. Uh, 2 and 5 and then 5 more. That's 105. I get 9, 2 and 7 is 87. And then we lose points. He loses 6, puts him at 99. I lose fitting for that. And 13 more. There you go. We got smoked 
99 to 72. Yeah, Spacehawk's right. I think I'm going to need another pack of them cools. That was a whooping. Whoo! That's, uh... I got whooped, y'all. But that was great. Like, that is about as... That, I mean, outside of... I forget what other solo... Uh, World Wonders I recently played... This kind of uses that same mechanism. It's obviously a little bit more involved, but not a lot. And the iconography on this is crystal clear. Did an excellent job. It's really easy to run the solo bot. Uh, and, oh God, wait. It's worse. I forgot something. Hold on. <clears throat> Two points for every three dollars. <throat> Do multiples of threes. So. And he didn't start with the seven cards. Two points for each of these, right? For every three, no, four points. Two points for these. That's six. 10, 14, 18, 22, 26. Sorry. 125 to 72. Just trying to give the bot its due. Oh my. Yeah, I forgot about that. That is hard. And really good. But I want a solo that's going to be really hard. Um, I don't... Oh, well done, John. Uh, Jonathan says, nice to show off the solo. Sorry about how bad you got drilled. But um boom I want to laugh, but I have no grounds to. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah. So. Wow. You want a, a solo to challenge you. Checks out. So if you're a solo gamer, I think I can wholeheartedly uh, recommend this. The, the one minor change that I would do from the multiplayer to the solo game and honestly, you could probably do it in a lot of ways. The so uh, the multiplayer is, and I'll I'll show you all this. Um, let me switch it over to here. Hold on, sorry about this. So what I did was all the discards are over there instead of having to mess with putting them under the set. It's just it's tedious and a pain in the butt, and kind of breaks up the flow. Just set them aside. I I still got at least half the deck in all of those. So you don't need to shuffle them in, you know, at the bottom, add them to the bottom of the deck. You're not going to need to do that in the solo game, it looks like. So that's a positive, and I forget who recommended that, but yeah, definitely just set them aside. Definitely. Uh, and that makes it flow better, which is really what you want. The bot doesn't require a whole lot of headspace. You want your headspace to be reserved for your game, and you better play well, or you're going to you're going to probably lose. So what I want to know from David is, does he routinely beat the bot? I'm just saying. Uh, uh, Chris, over on YouTube, thank you. So yeah, that was a good recommendation. But uh, you're, you're going to be taxed, you're going to be challenged, and that's everything you want in a solo game. So hard to really find fault with that. Uh, all the, the, same, the same issues. I would recommend you all go listen to the multiplayer... Uh, roundtable discussion um i think these solo i think the cut up videos are now available so you can go listen to that all that still pertains as far as critiques about the game positives and minuses except that the solo bot was really easy to run and uh even when even when you had to look i had to look up or or follow the flow of things it's all laid out on two pages okay three pages for the solo bot, and it's all clear. There's no ambiguity. I never was like unsure 
the only the only thing that I would recommend that there be some clarification on is, and I made this assumption, and thank God, or else I would have gotten beat way worse, is if a bot can partially carry out an action that can sit that's counted as an action. Can drill, can drill one, right? Or can extract, max extract is three. Could they extract more or only less? Yes, then that's that's viable. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty great. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and, and not a massive footprint for a two player game or the solo, which is effectively a two player game. Uh, the four player gets pretty big like y'all saw last night. Um, uh, yeah, he's, uh, David says it's a demanding solo mode, but it can be one with a little experience, which is what you want. You want it to be demanding. You want it to be taxing. It should be difficult. Um, but the fact that it is beatable, and if you beat it, then it starts with the seven cards in hand. Well, that's an extra four points, plus some other maybe flexibility uh, that it has. So yeah, well done, David. That was... That was excellent, and I don't mind getting my butt whooped. So, yeah, there you go. That's a wrap. Um, we'll be back in half an hour for patrons for, uh, right, Dungeon Pets. I'm going to go rest my voice for half an hour now. So thanks. Like, subscribe, follow, all that fun stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks, David, for stopping in and hanging out with us. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, yeah, that's a wrap. If you're a patron, like I said, uh, we got half an hour until we start the stream. Thereabouts. Maybe a couple minutes late. But uh, otherwise, I'll see you all tomorrow night with Daryl Carr. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Man, I got whooped. Bye, didn't I? But that was fun. That was good.